So next we have um, Andrew. Andrew is a sophomore at National Central University and he majors in mechanic engineering and he has an interest in like solar systems. Tonight he's going to sh um, show us the man-made sunflower. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share this experience, share the experience doing which I designed a solar yeah, tracking robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, solar tracking robot. It's really not working. It is, a, it is amazing that the cell power master piece by God actually follow the sunlight by a complicated chemical system. This amazing plant can get more solar energy by doing so. So this is concerned by a scientist. If the solar if the solar panel can actually trigger the light source, just like a sunflower, then its uh, power efficiency will be promoted a lot. So first, how can we design a solar tracking system? Well, I asked my professor and some of the robot designer. Uh, both of them suggest me that I should buy the circuit board, Arduino, and learn from their software in the sphere and the orbit of the sun. But by doing so, it will cost me 30 to 40 US dollars singly on the circuit board. And by the way, it also takes me a long period of time to learn the computer software and the theory of the orbit of the sun. So I was thinking, is there a possibility to design this simpler? Well, Song gave me, truly gave me inspiration. His name is Mark Tobin. He's a robotic scientist. And this is one of his only masterpieces, Spider. This robot can actually learn to walk on any kind of terrain from scratch, amazingly without the support of computer and software. It is simply composed of 12 twin sisters, and it can contend with the real world. Well, Martin did believe that the, the true world is full of the analog signals. Those computers, those digital signals are necessary burden to a robot like that. So, uh, so Martin just believed that things. Well, after hearing this, Martin is sending out in the NASA's and the US military's robot programs, and this robot has taken the whole robotic field by storm. Well, after hearing this, I started to build a robot in an extremely simple way. And, yeah, sure. and this is just my solar panel. The whole cost of a circuit is less than three US dollars. And it can apply to several kinds of DC motor and hydraulic system. It can actually trace the light just like this. Okay. 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 So you guys do that. So this is really cheap, and need no software and computer at all. So what Mark Tilden means is that he is crazily against hundreds of years of AI knowledge they constructed and believed by thousands of scientists. Well, he insists in the value he believed in, and finally he realized that it becoming outstanding. So what's the value of the Mark Tilden story? Well, it means that we should be smarter than intellectual. So what does that mean? Okay, so here's another story. A robot, Birds One, it costs 290,000 US dollars, and it is for simulating the sophisticated human conversational gesture. And what is stunning is that this robot can only demonstrate the rock, paper, scissor game. Well, for 2,900 years now, I was expecting something more than that. You know, the, the robot toys from Toys R Us can even solve the magic cure for me. So what the hell is that, huh? So, the scientists feel that they're well educated. It means that they're really, really intellectual. But more knowledge makes us think, makes us think formally and precisely. But it just deters from thinking easily and wisely. I mean, thinking smart. So try to discover your own insights of the knowledge. That's what makes you different and outstanding. Mark Tilden abandoned the intellectual way to build a robot because he finds smart way to do the same thing. So when people try to define how to be successful in their life, well, they, they formally they suggested that Gong Qinghua, Steve Jobs, and Mark Zuckerberg, and people like that. But how to be successful really need you to pull into realization, to discover the special values of your life. Because we are so different from each other. There is no such a formal way to discover it. Because we'll have to find it on our own, you know. And 
you will find something more than being intellectual, more than what those famous people teach us. You will just find a way to standing out on your own, just like Martin Lee shining on the robotic nose. Well, thanks for listening.